Hey guys, so it's been a while since I actually sat down and did my makeup with you guys. Um, that's actually better. I don't like the glare that it was creating, even though there's a ton of glare here. If it looks like I'm living in a construction zone, it's because I am at the moment. <laughs> my renovation is finally happening. Um, I am finally getting my own bathroom, an actual vanity in my bathroom because even though I liked my really big desk, I, it, it wouldn't be nice to just do my makeup in my bathroom like after I take a shower and all of that. I really hope the glare isn't that bad for you guys. I'll try my best under the circumstances, but <laughs> this is what I've been living in right now in terms of makeup because I don't have the space right now to do my makeup as comfortably as I would like. And we have a kitty cat behind me because I have a new window as well. Um, I have two new windows actually. Because before the window that I had, it was very, um, it was a really big, not normal window. And we just now put in a brand new window. Again, two brand new windows. Normal windows that I can actually open. Because it was very dangerous. I was uh, living in a bedroom where I couldn't even open my window. And that's <laughs> never good. You always want to be able to open your window. What is he eating? Cat! Hey, would you stop? You're not supposed to eat stuff. Life of a fur mom, right? <laughs> Cats always love to get into stuff. Anyway. I am so freaking excited um, about this renovation. Everything is underway. The electricians come soon. I think they already put the plumbing in. I sat down in my shower because it's not really a shower right now and what I mean by sit down is they did put a bench in the shower for me like a built-in tile bench that I can sit down because as you guys know my mobility is not the greatest um it's very hard for me to stand at a long period of time and I will go into why and everything. I guess I could do like a little bit of a health update for you guys. So I was recently diagnosed with something called POTS. P-O-T-S. POTS. Like almost like a cooking pot is what I think of <laughs> when I hear POTS. Um, so what that is, is when somebody like me who has POTS stands up, they their heart races really fast. Their, it's almost like their blood rate or their blood pressure gets really high. My blood pressure gets really high when I stand up. And walking is okay. Like if I walk at a fast pace... Um, I would rather be walking than standing for a long period of time because when I'm walking, I'm not just standing in one place making my foot hurt or my feet hurt it, for this matter. Um, and it can also cause like really bad circulation. So my feet sometimes turn purple and red. And so do my hands. My hands will also get like a purplish color. And at first, like everyone I went to thought it was Raynaud's disease. And they just kept saying like, oh, you have Raynaud's disease. Like there's nothing we can really do about it. And just, you know, keep your hands warm, keep circulation in your feet and all that stuff, which I do do. And they do say even with POTS, you can reverse POTS. That is a good thing. Because for the longest time, I seriously thought I was developing MS because my grandfather on my dad's side, 
he suffered from MS and him and his MS got worse as he got older. And um, so I thought I was just developing MS like my grandfather did. And so that was really, and at first I was like, I would rather have MS. And my grandma was like, no, you don't because MS is not reversible. Some people with MS end up in a wheelchair their whole life. And with POTS, you are lucky because POTS is reversible with diet and exercise, which I do try and do. And you have to drink, you have to have to be on top of your electrolytes. So like you have to have a lot of salt and liquid. So I have been drinking um, a cup of electrolytes every morning. I still have my cup of coffee, but like I only limit myself to one cup of coffee a day. Sometimes I splurge when I get Starbucks and stuff, but I don't get Starbucks like I did every day during the lockdown, <laughs> during the dreadful pandemic. But, um, and POTS can also, speaking of pandemic, POTS can also be caused by trauma. So during the pandemic, I noticed that my health was deteriorating even before I fell, because a lot of people know on here that I fell pretty hard on my tile floor and I got a hematoma. And I do think that that contributed to the POTS for sure, because, um, when I moved, when we first moved here, my POTS was really bad. It's something that I've had for a long time, apparently, and I didn't even know it. But uh, my POTS was really, really bad when we first moved in here. I was completely immobile, could barely walk. Um, I was like bedridden. But as you guys know, I lost a bunch of weight and I reversed that. So I know I can do it again. The weight right now isn't really an issue. It's just I was traumatized by the pandemic and by when I fell. But like I said, I noticed that my POTS was acting up again even before I fell because with everything going on in the world, it was very stressful. You know, everything was on lockdown and I was worried that I was gonna get the, I was gonna get COVID. And I did get COVID a couple of times, and I think that also probably contributed to my POTS as well. Um, so anyone can get POTS, and it can be flared by trauma. And when the pandemic happened in 2020, I noticed a severe drop in my, like, fatigued. I was getting severely fatigued even before I fell. Um, it was just not good. And so I knew something was wrong, but nobody would tell me. Doctors, I honestly don't know how some doctors get away with literally doing nothing, like the bare minimum. Um, they would not test me for, like, anything. Um, they tested me for, like, pressure. They tested me for, um, diabetes, everything like that. Um, and everything was fine. Everything came back fine. I even had a neurologist tell me that she couldn't do anything for me. She literally looked at me up and down and said, pretty much said, why are you in my office? I can't treat you. I don't know what to do with you. Go somewhere else. Um, didn't even recommend me to another office that I can go to. And it was pretty much a big F you 
Like, you look fine. You don't look like there's anything wrong with you. Why are you here? And not only the pots, this doctor that I have now saved my life, literally. Um, because he noticed that I pretty much have some veins in my brain that are pretty much non non-existent. Like they're being compromised or something. And that's extremely dangerous because I can lose eyesight or worse. And I was really afraid that I would have to have brain surgery, but thankfully it's not brain surgery. They go in your leg and then they put this thing in. It's, um, it's like a tube that they put in your brain to open the veins so that the veins are pumping normal and everything. They go in your leg and they put that thing all the way up into your brain because everything is connected in the body. It's crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to go to that neurologist that told me pretty much get the F out of my office. I don't know what to do with you. I want to tell her off, but I'm not that kind of person. And I hate sometimes that I'm not that kind of person because the nice ones are the ones that get taken advantage of and screwed over. Um, and that's what I felt like happened. I felt like I got taken advantage of and screwed over and pretty much this doctor saved my life. This neurologist that I have now, like, I wanna hug him. <laughs> um, because he did everything. He tested me, like he actually touched me, you know, like he did the whole nerve damage test he did. Like, you know, you know those, and what I mean by touch me, like, you know those tests, like, he puts both of his fingers right here and he says, like, can you hear the sounds that my fingers are making? Can you see my fingers on, you know, your sides? And, like, can you follow the, my feet? Like, he did all of the testing that is required to test a patient. And I guess, like... One of the tests that did save my life and diagnose me with POTS, um, I guess my insurance won't cover that test because it wasn't necessary. How is that test not necessary when it literally diagnosed me with something? <laughs> um, so my mom has to fight to get, you know, insurance approved on that. I don't know how that works, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, if you know that something is wrong with you, like deep in your gut, get, you know, second opinions. Don't just listen to one doctor and say, and have them say like, you know, oh, there's nothing wrong with you, you're fine. When you know deep down in your gut that something is wrong with you, I thought this whole time I couldn't walk because I fell. And I'm like, but it's been over two years. Like, the fall shouldn't have impacted my life, like, that bad. I didn't break anything. I didn't, you know, it wasn't. Like, it was a really big fall, but it wasn't that big of a fall to where I shouldn't be able to walk like I normally do. Um, now the fall definitely did, you know, um, what's it called? Put the pots back into, back to life, I guess is what you can call it. Blush, blush, blush. But yeah, I just can't believe some of the things that doctors get away with. It just baffles my mind that doctors can easily dismiss you like you're nothing. Like, go home, quit wasting my time. But... 
the good news is that I am getting a spinal tap because they want to test my nerves or something. I don't really know how spinal taps work. Um, I am nervous <laughs> about the spinal tap because I heard you can get kind of um, a headache when it comes to spinal taps. I'm trying not to think too much about it though because I am really excited about my renovation and I'm just trying to um, be happy about that. I guess I'm nervous about the spinal tap because you are just supposed to like lay down for a couple of days um, like flat on your back. You're not supposed to lay on your side or anything after the spinal tap because you can just get really bad headaches. But again, I've never had a spinal tap, so I'm just nervous. Um, you know, people are going to say, like, trust the doctor. And I do. This doctor, I can say that I definitely trust because he is the one who diagnosed me. <laughs> and I'm very grateful. Because like I said, nobody would diagnose me. They would just dismiss me. Or they would diagnose me wrong and just say that like everything's fine. This is what this is and they would do no like real tests over it. And I'm sure some people thought that I was over-exaggerating. But yeah, if you guys want to look up POTS, I highly recommend that you do because it is a real thing. Anyone can get POTS. And I'm not saying that to, like, scare you guys. I'm just saying that, you know, it's not, um, something to be taken lightly. Mm. I need a fluffy brush. This will have to do. In case you guys want to know, this is a Cleonad Cosmetics eyeshadow that I'm using on the lid. shades together. Very pretty. If you really want like your 
eyeshadows to pop. Cleonad is definitely worth it. Even though I do know that Cleonad is pricey. In my opinion, it's definitely worth the price. Um, of course I need a Brush. You guys like how excited I got? Like, oh, highlight brush. The lighting might be a little janky right now because of my situation, but you know, what can you do? Very, very nice. It's nice to just do something simple sometimes. Especially when you don't have that much like room to work with right now or space, I mean. I like blush, but I don't want to look like a clown. Especially tonight because I am going out the first time in a while and that's another thing too ever since the lockdown in 2020 like it definitely turned me into a recluse um I haven't been wanting to go anywhere do anything Okay. Just a little finishing touches. Um, mascara. And I will be putting an inner corner.
So that is blinding. It's really fun. I enjoy doing small makeup looks. I feel like I could use a little bit more blush. Oh yeah, that's better. This is the NYX Ombre Blush. Okay, found some lip gloss. Or not lip gloss, this is um, old is Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Stick. Of course, this. Okay. We can fix it. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Yes, we can. Uh, thank God for editing. My hair is a little bit wonky, but anyways, this is the look. I don't know how well it's going to pick up because of the glare, but anyways, yeah, you guys, thank you for watching and listening.